As one of the quickest and most aerodynamic electric trucks ever built, the Tesla Semi keeps getting better with upgrades that make it even smoother through the air in its new version. This update is getting ready for full-scale production next year. Honestly, the Tesla Semi has been one of the most overlooked Tesla vehicles, mainly because only a few of them were made even though it was first shown almost nine years ago. There are many reasons for that slow start, but now the big moment is finally here. The mass production line is ready, and soon anyone can order a Tesla Semi, not only large shipping companies. The new version will also cost less thanks to several improvements explained by Dan Priestley, who is the lead engineer and program development head for the Tesla Semi. Imagine if a big semi-truck could be built in just a few minutes instead of several months. Sounds like a joke, right? But Tesla's new production line at their newest factory might actually make that possible. Eventually, Tesla could be able to make millions of trucks. Well, maybe not millions right away, but that's the kind of large-scale goal Elon Musk has in mind. He once said something like, we'll probably make over a million millions of the Tesla Semi. It may sound like an exaggeration, but it shows Tesla's ambition to make this truck a common sight everywhere. And in the future, it will even have the ability to drive itself. So, how will Tesla make this huge truck more efficient and more affordable? What makes its new production process so special? Let's take a look and find out together. From the very beginning, Tesla made it clear that the semi would not be just another truck. It's more like a highway rocket that can go from zero to 60 miles per hour in only 20 seconds. That's why Tesla's main designer, Franz von Holthausen, looked to Japan's fastest train, the famous Shinkansen, for design ideas. And now, with these new aerodynamic improvements, the semi is starting to feel more and more like the bullet train of the trucking world. Of course, not everyone likes its look, and that's fine. If you're not a fan, you can drop a comment and tell us what you think. We really do read them all here on Device Dimension. Now let's talk about some smaller performance changes, and most importantly, the new battery setup that's coming to the Tesla Semi. According to Tesla's Master Plan Part 3, the long-range Semi uses an 800 kilowatt hour battery pack that currently uses Heinicke cells, most likely NMC chemistry, to reach its great range. The short-range version, called the Semi-Lite, runs on LFP cells instead. But here comes the big upgrade. Tesla plans to power upcoming semis with its most advanced battery, yet the HV battery or the 4680 cell. HV stands for high voltage. In this case, it's all about the 4680 cell. This new battery can store around 300 watt hours per kilogram, giving it strong energy density while also cutting down production costs because of its unique structural design. Even though Dan Priestley confirmed that the next generation semi will have a smaller battery pack, it won't lose any range or performance. In fact, it will keep its amazing driving distance. And thanks to a 7% efficiency boost from improved aerodynamics, it might even perform better. A smaller and cheaper battery pack also means less total weight and lower costs to run the truck, a win for both Tesla and the customers. People have long guessed that Tesla would switch the Semi to the 4680 battery, and honestly, it just makes sense. Why save Tesla's best battery only for the Cybertruck? The 4680 cell brings great power, efficiency, and affordability, exactly what a heavy-duty truck needs. Plus, since Tesla is now producing these cells directly at the Nevada Gigafactory, it can build and fit the semi's battery packs faster and easier than ever before. Along with the upgraded parts, Dan Priestley also mentioned other design updates like new rearview mirrors for better visibility and smoother aerodynamics. Tesla also added something called drop glass. Right now, Tesla semi-prototypes still have traditional side mirrors. 
Each mirror contains three cameras that work with the truck's monitor system, sending live footage to a pair of 15-inch screens inside the cabin. This system not only meets United States regulations, but also improves visibility and reduces drag while giving the driver a full 360-degree view, removing blind spots. What's still uncertain is what Tesla plans for the new generation mirrors. They might include even more cameras, or, as Dan Priestley hinted, have a completely new aerodynamic shape that improves vision and airflow. That could mean smaller physical mirrors combined with smarter camera tech. Many drivers hope Tesla keeps some physical mirrors since they are still very useful for a big truck like this. The new drop glass feature is another smart update. If you're wondering what that is, it's basically a small lowerable side window. The driver's seat in the Tesla Semi is in the center of the cabin, and while cameras remove most blind spots, it's still hard to talk to people outside, like gate guards or toll operators. Without drop glass, drivers would have to open the whole cabin door to pass documents or talk. With this new window, daily trucking tasks will be much easier. In recent years, many of Tesla's newer models have come with a modern light bar design, and it looks like the Tesla Semi will join that trend too. Reports say the latest update includes redesigned headlights with a clean LED light bar, a possible sleeper cab for long routes, and even better aerodynamics with a drag coefficient of 0.36, about 30% better than regular diesel trucks. The Semi will also keep its tri-motor setup, now tuned for 7% more efficiency. The new headlight design gives the Semi a sharper, more modern look that matches Tesla's latest style. The light bar won't serve as the main headlights, though. The main lights will still sit lower on the front to illuminate the road. Overall, the refreshed look feels cleaner and perfectly fits Tesla's current design language. What do you think? Would you like to see the Semi with this new look? Drop your thoughts in the comments below on Device Dimension, where our 2,000 subscribers love to chat about the latest tech. Another exciting thing is the Sleeper Cab Edition. This isn't just a rumor anymore. It's actually happening. We're quite sure about this because Dan Priestley mentioned before that Tesla plans to include a Sleeper Cab in future versions, allowing drivers to rest comfortably on long, multi-day routes. This might be one of the most exciting and practical updates for the next generation semi. Sleep is a huge deal for truck drivers. Fatigue is one of the biggest reasons for accidents during long cross-country trips. The current semi doesn't have a sleeping space yet, even though the cabin is large enough to make it possible. That was understandable during early testing stages, but as full production begins, a sleeper cab will become essential. We're not sure yet how Tesla will build it. Maybe they'll extend the cabin backward or rearrange the current layout. But either way, it's an important step forward. Reports also confirm that the new semi has improved aerodynamics with that lower drag number we mentioned earlier. The current model sits around 0.4, but with glass and mirror tweaks, it drops to 0.36. As we've said before, the Tesla's, Tesla's approach, approach to electric electric vehicles, and battery system, simplifying design, are much simpler than diesel engines automating production in traditional trucks could completely this transform simpler design how the heavy transport fewer industry moving works. Parts, faster Once assembly, the semi and easier hits maintenance, full-scale manufacturing, which makes it possible it to could scale inspire up other companies faster to rethink Elon their Musk production lines as once well. Said Tesla the benefits go far beyond the trucking business. That's a bold goal. More efficient logistics, maybe not mean next year, cheaper goods, but very cleaner possible air soon, and fewer carbon based on emissions progress. overall. Tesla Another interesting reach about point 20, is how units Tesla integrates in 2026. all of its technology Another into major a new single feature system. In the semi, the semi is not will just a supervised full It's a rolling piece of now, Tesla's you might entire wonder, ecosystem. How can a huge it connects truck to the company's safely energy drive products, itself on public such roads. as solar and storage? But Tesla is actually and will serious work about introducing with Tesla's it with the 2026 model. driving network. This matches the more trucks Tesla's Tesla larger builds, mission to modernize the more data trans it collects and make which trucking helps more efficient. improve the self-driving software This isn't software just another update. Even faster. It's a it's major a leap circle of the innovation. world. Every FSD mile driven makes the next truck smarter. 
Without Still, the driver having there to are challenges ahead. control it, large-scale production of electric trucks requires an enormous battery efficiency. And Something Tesla will need to expand have cell manufacturing years. even more. However, it's important to remember massive that gigapress supervised also means the handling driver will new still be inside watch safety the system. Issues. Even on the market they don't side, need to touch the wheel Tesla most will of the time. need to convince traditional Tesla's advanced sensors and AI that electric will is not only large cleaner, amounts of data but also every more profitable, allowing the, the semi to handle but highways, if history tells traffic, us anything, and loading it's that Tesla safely. often takes on Still, big challenges. There will be challenges. And eventually delivers running a nearly 80,000 pound truck under the same might soon happen here. Will raise if many mass production starts from as both planned, the public and regular semi generation any accident could be the big attention that finally makes electric freight safe. And accountability As Tesla continues in refining the vehicle, also we might see there's the long term worry appear. about jobs. Maybe if Tesla or ever allows range models fully unsupervised for driving routes, it might or change perhaps even or reduce special the number of human truck drivers needed. Or legal experts companies. warn that the semi autonomous truck crashes, could expand in many the directions. Company might carry the just legal blame car instead of did. the driver. In the end, so the Tesla while semi, the semi Gen 2 more than a new product is a bold move. It's the foundation it's also a of a high future one. where transportation its success is will depend on two key things and fully automated. First, Tesla the introduction the of the Giga Press for heavy trucks human drivers and Tesla's goal isn't just to make electric with regulators. To create but fair to reinvent safety rules. how vehicles of if all Tesla sizes can do that. are made. The semi Gen 2 so, won't how do you just feel be about truck. the idea of it a could become a symbol of the new world. autonomous transport? Do you think the age price of the semi where goods will move drop nonstop once Tesla precision. reaches large But if problems production? arise, it could we'd cause love to hear your opinion. Slow down the entire in the comments industries below and push join the discussion with the community freight. here on Even Device Dimension. Even looking ahead, we expect now a the family Tesla semi generation tech to come with a higher starting every price innovation compared to the first and beyond. And honestly, that makes perfect breakdown when you think about the new technology. Sure and to features like, subscribe, being added, and turn every on major the notification bell in engineering so you don't miss any future updates and at deep first. dives into the Between technology the full that's self-driving tomorrow. Software, the improved aerodynamics, and the brand new 4680 battery system. Production will naturally be more expensive. Still, Tesla has a strong record of cutting costs over time through smarter manufacturing and large-scale production. We have already seen that happen with the Model 3 and Model Y. When those cars first received big upgrades, prices went up for a while, but later they dropped once the company learned to build them faster and cheaper. The same thing will likely happen with the Semi. At launch, it might cost more, but later the price could go down as Tesla refines production. And honestly, that increase would be justified. The addition of full self-driving alone could change the total cost of ownership for trucking companies. A truck that can run almost non-stop means less idle time, fewer crashes, smoother delivery schedules, and higher productivity. Combine that with the 4680 battery's long life and low maintenance needs, and the semi-generation 2 could end up being cheaper to operate than any diesel truck on the road today, even if the purchase price is higher at first. Over the years, the Tesla Semi has often been seen as Elon Musk's hardest project. Fewer than 1,000 semis have been made so far. Unlike the Model Y, Model 3, or Cybertruck, the Semi never had a fully automated factory line before. Most of the semis on the road right now were built almost by hand, using a mix of manual work and partially automated tools that made production slow, expensive, and limited in volume. But that is changing. Last month, drone footage from Giga Nevada showed something big. Literally, a giant press machine weighing many tons was moved from Giga Texas to Giga Nevada using two tractor units and three oversized trailers. This quietly revealed that Tesla is setting up a Giga Press specifically for the Semi, a major turning point for electric truck manufacturing. The Giga Press has become one of Tesla's most powerful tools in modern car building. It's a massive die-casting machine that can create huge one-piece aluminum parts in a single press. In the past, automakers had to weld, bolt, or glue hundreds of smaller metal pieces to form a vehicle's frame. That process took much more time and often reduced strength. The Giga Press replaces all that 
by making an entire section of the vehicle in just minutes. Its efficiency is so impressive that Elon Musk once said, you can't understand Tesla unless you understand the Gigapress. However, using this technology for the Semi is a much bigger challenge than using it for smaller vehicles. The Semi is a heavy-duty truck. It's many times larger and heavier than a Model Y or Cybertruck. Its frame needs to handle loads of tens of tons, drive for long hours every day, and still stay strong and reliable. The Gigapress machines Tesla already has, which produce between 6,000 and 9,000 tons of clamping force, are great for passenger vehicles, but too small for the semi's massive components. Because of this, Tesla had to rely on traditional methods like stamping, welding, and assembling each part one by one. That meant longer build times and higher costs. But now, with the arrival of a new special Giga Press built, just for the semi, everything could change. This could be the largest die casting machine Tesla has ever used. It will likely produce the main parts of the semi structure in a single casting cycle, which means Tesla could make one truck roughly every 20 minutes. Elon Musk once said that was the speed needed to reach their goal of 50,000 units a year by 2026. If Tesla pulls this off, it would solve one of its biggest long-term problems, scaling up production. The Gigapress doesn't only make the process faster, it also lowers costs, reduces errors, and improves quality. Each large one-piece casting is extremely accurate, saving material, cutting weight, and boosting efficiency, all key for an electric truck. The strong single casting also increases rigidity, reduces vibration when carrying heavy loads, and makes maintenance simpler. More importantly, building a gigapress for the semi is a major achievement in industrial engineering. If the Model Y changed the way cars are made, the semi could do the same for trucks. No other company, not even giants like Daimler or Volvo, has ever used such a large-scale die-casting method for heavy-duty trucks. Tesla's new facility in Nevada, which now spans over 4 million square feet, has the space and equipment to run this huge machine and build the first fully automated semi-production line. This was the missing piece Tesla needed.